For diabetes is a term to define people with blood glucose between normal levels and diabetes. People with prediabetes are more likely to progress to diabetes than those with normal blood glucose. It includes those with impaired glucose tolerance, we call it as IGT, and impaired fasting glucose, which is short for IFG. IGT is consistently defined as an elevated two-hour plasma glucose level during OTTT. However, the cutoff point for diagnosing IFG remains controversial. The WHO and the American Diabetes Association guideline recommended a different cutoff point for IFG. The American Diabetes Association has lowered the cut point for IFG. However, some scholars opposed to the change believe that it increased the prevalence of IFG greatly. For example, a prevalence of diabetes is up to 36% in America and 50% in China. However, this new criteria was without any clear association with clinical complications, especially for cardiovascular disease and all cause mortality. Hemoglobin A1C is important for diagnosis of diabetes. Mildly elevated level of hemoglobin A1C, but not reached the cut point for diabetes, was used as another marker to define for diabetes. The cut point differ in different guidelines. Whether the raised hemoglobin A1C level for defining prediabetes is useful for predicting future cardiovascular disease is unclear. In this study, we performed a meta-analysis to evaluate the association of prediabetes and risk of composed cardiovascular events, coronary heart disease, stroke, and all-cause mortality. We included 53 prospective cohort analysis for study with 1.6 million reproduce and the median follow-up duration was about 10 years. We have several interesting findings. First, we saw that IGT significantly increased the risk of composite cardiovascular events by 30%, coronary heart disease by 20%, and stroke by 20% too, all cause mortality by 32%. Second, we have solely IFG defined by the WHO criteria increased the risk of composite cardiovascular events by 26%, coronary heart disease by 18%, stroke by 17%, and all cause mortality by 13%. Third, we also find that IFG defined by the ADA guidelines also increased the risk of composite cardiovascular events by 13%, coronary heart disease by 10%, stroke by 6%, and all cause mortality by 13% too. Fourth, we find that prediabetes defined by increased levels of hemoglobin A1C neither according to the ADA or the NICE guideline were associated with an increased risk for composite cardiovascular disease and coronary heart disease. However, it was not for the risk of stroke and all-cause mortality. Well, to sum up, we find that prediabetes defined as IGT, IFG, or raised hemoglobin A1C was associated with an increased risk for cardiovascular disease. The major strength of our study is with very large sample size. We include more than 1.6 million individuals for analysis. Furthermore, all of the income including studies 
for prospective course studies and they are adjusting for other respects. Please strength map our data for with enough statistical power for analysis and evidence to conclusions. Our final results show that the health risk may be increased in people with a fasting glucose level as low as 100 mg per deciliter or hemoglobin A1c as low as 5.7% according to the new definition of prediabetes by the ADA guideline. Nowadays, diabetes is increasing prevalent all over the world. People with prediabetes is much more common. According to the ADA definition, the prevalence of prediabetes is up to 36% in American and uh, much more higher in Chinese population, up to 50%. Considering the high prevalence of pre-diabetes, successful intervention in this last population would have important public health meaning. For people with IGT, we have solid lifestyle interventions such as increasing physical activity and Diet control can reduce the progression to diabetes. Recently, the Dachin Diabetes Prevention Studies from China have also shown that uh, lifestyle intervention in people with IGT can reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease and all cause mortality. However, for people with IGT and raised hemoglobin A1C, whether lifestyle intervention is successful are the follow studies. This is a very important study. We found that diabetes is associated with an increased risk for hypothesis cardiovascular events, CHD, stroke, and all cause mortality. Lifestyle modification should be recommended for people with prediabetes. High risk subpopulation with diabetes should be selected for drug treatment trials.